Hey folks, happy Monday. Welcome back to another exciting week here at WT White. Wanted to make you aware of something that you're probably already aware of, but the construction has evolved. So make sure you are paying attention to where the construction is. Do not enter through anything that is labeled with a construction warning sign and try your best to get to class as close to on time as possible with these new changes. Keep in mind that these classrooms are now moved out to the portables, except for Miss Ayler's room, which is now in the library. You can reach the portables by the first floor W wing where the BTEC classrooms and offices are. Today, I wanted to review a video from last year about the Reset Center and Mrs. Johnson and what her role is on campus. And so uh, without further ado, here is old Mr. Hall. Hi folks, welcome to the final edition of How to Be a Longhorn. Be a long horn. Today we're going to be talking about the Reset Center here at WT White. The purpose of the Reset Center is to provide a short-term alternative outlet for students outside the regular classroom setting. The Reset Center is designed to address misbehaviors and identify the root cause while holding students accountable. The Reset Coordinator will utilize social and emotional learning and restorative practices to combat repetitive misconduct. The center is where the student can go to work through behavioral concerns and to repair the harm between teachers, staff, and peers before returning to the regular classroom setting. The goals of the Reset Center are to minimize student time out of the classroom, to address root issues impacting students' behavior, and so trying to get down to the bottom of what is going on with a student, and to increase social emotional intelligence and self-regulation skills. There are steps to get referred to the Reset Center, usually if it's a level one offense, things like a dress code violation or getting on your phone a couple times, that usually is taken care of with the teacher. But if it's a repetitive level one offense or a level two through four offense, these are the steps that are taken. The teacher reports it to the campus behavior coordinator, the referral is reviewed by the campus behavior coordinator, the referral is put into the system, and then the referral is given to the reset coordinator if the student is assigned to reset. The Reset Center is a great alternative to just being punished for a misbehavior. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's go now to our field correspondent, Mr. Hall, with Ms. Johnson, our Reset Coordinator. Thanks, Mr. Hall. I'm here with Ms. Johnson, and she's got a lot to say about the Reset Center. Ms. Johnson, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing great. Tell the kids what they need to know about the Reset Center and you. Hi everyone, so my name is Miss Johnson. I'm here, I'm the Reset Coordinator, and really what I do is I work with students who are having behavioral challenges on campus, and I integrate social emotional learning, mindfulness, and uh, mood and feel feeling regulations to help kids solve and regulate uh, their behaviors and redirect it in a positive manner. Miss Johnson, tell us about a day in the Reset Center. If we're sent to the Reset Center, what can we expect? Yes, so when the student is placed in a reset center for the day, we do a temperature check. So the temperature check is a quick activity where you answer some questions and um, depending on your response, it will give you some activities that will um, have you engage in mood and feeling regulation um, exercises. Um, we wanna make sure that you are calm and set as we engage in the reset center um, structure of the day. And then after that, we will talk about our reset center expectations. You will also have some time to connect with your teacher so that way you can complete assignments so you're not behind on your classwork. Um, and then we will really dive into why you are here. We will talk about the challenges or problems or behaviors that have led you here into the Reset Center. And we're really gonna dive into um, talking about strategies, self-awareness, responsible decision-making skills um, and strategies to get you to um, have positive experiences here on our campus. And so it's a safe space, it's a safe haven for you to come in and to be authentic, to be genuine, and to really know that you have support here. That sounds great. That doesn't sound bad at all. Well, thank you so much. Is the Reset Center a punishment? The Reset Center is not a punishment. It's a safe space for you to come, for you to be authentic, for you to talk about your problems, for you to talk about your challenges, for you to get connection with someone who cares about you, and for you to develop healthy, um, positive experiences or skills that you can use back into your classroom setting so that way you can um, make those connections. Well, thanks, Miss Johnson. Thank you so much for telling us more about the Reset Center. Miss Johnson, folks, give her a hand. Thank you so much. Uh, back to you, Mr. Hall.
Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Good job, old Mr. Hall. I wanted to add a couple of other things. We have also, in addition to Miss Johnson, a mental health clinician by the name of Miss Anna Pott. Many of you may know her, but this is Mrs. Pott, and she is our on-campus mental health clinician, and she is uh, a bright, shining ray of positivity on campus, and you know that if you know her. Uh, she can help with all sorts of things like anxiety, depression, grief, panic attacks, trouble getting work done, problems eating or sleeping, or any other mental health concerns. You can usually go through Miss Pot, and she's very good at working with students. And so if you'd like to talk to her, you can text her your name and when you would like to meet at 972-984-8886, and she will get back to you as soon as she can. If you are in crisis, if you are having suicidal ideation, or if you're having bad thoughts, extreme bad thoughts, you can also, at any time, call the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline at 988. And she wanted me to make sure that everybody knew that. And uh, if you see her, say hi. She loves talking to students, and she would love to talk to you. I don't have a picture for her yet, but we also have a new addition to our staff this year with Mrs. Hill. She is our alcohol and drug specialist for our mental health clinic. She helps students struggling with addiction or substance misuse or abuse. She is found in room C-138, which is a little room in the hallway of the attendance office. And she wants you to know that seeking support from her will not result in disciplinary action. So if you are having some sort of struggle with uh, addiction or drugs or vaping or whatever it is, then you can come see her and you're not going to get in trouble. You're just going to get help. So to get into contact with her, you can see her usually at the front asking for IDs. You can come by her office or speak to your counselor or Miss Johnson or Mrs. Pott. That's all for me today. If you would, please go to the next slide and have the discussion there. Be good to yourself and others today and have a great one. We'll see you soon.